Well, hello there, YouTubers. I've now been using Windows 7 for uh, about a week now, so I guess I think I'm ready to do a review of Windows 7. So let's start out by just talking about how awesome this uh, taskbar is, and I guess it's called the Super Bar now. Um, basically, if you want to like take something and t uh, pin it to the bar, okay. Um, here, let's make a new icon real quickly. Okay, let's just grab. Okay, let's say I want to take this, and I can click this. Then I can click pin to taskbar. Okay, and it should pop up down here, or maybe not. Okay, hold on. Hold on I'm failing. Anyway, I can I can just take it right there, and just set it down, and it should pin it to the taskbar. Now, my is a little laggy right now because I am using a screen recorder. <clears throat> so just give it its time. There we go. See, works pretty good. So, like, let's say if I just wanted to launch it, basically I just click it. When it's not highlighted, that means it's not running. So, okay, let's go ahead and click it. And sooner or later, Virtual PC will open up. Now, I have not set up any Virtual PCs yet. Well, I have, but they were kind of fail. So I got to get a couple ISOs and set me up some virtual machines. But. And if you want to untask it, you just grab it and just bam. Or actually, yeah, unpin. There we go. Um, so, as you can see, like, it's, remember on Windows Vista how you could not move your your um, stuff around? Well, check this out. I could put it right here. I could put it on this car if I wanted to. I could slap it up right here if I wanted to. Huh. I actually think it looks pretty slick over here, so I'm going to keep it right there. And this is actually a theme pack for Windows Vista. I mean, Windows 7 I got off of Microsoft.com. If you go ahead, and it actually changes around the songs a little bit. This is a American Road Trip. Classic American Road Trip. and See, it like has like a guitar sound. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so basically, it's it's really cool, but I like the magnifier feature though. Because, like, when I was cooking last night, I, I, had, I was chatting with a couple people, and so basically, I had the Skype window right here. And what I did is I took the magnifier, and when it opens, just give it some time, and you can act, just move your mouse around. See it? Like, let's say I, I can go up here, back down here, and just. And just close out of it. Okay, so the magnifier feature is pretty cool. And okay, check this out. I can just go ahead and just bam like that. Now I'm not gonna open up that one, okay? But I'm not gonna open up that one either. But um, so basically you can just like right click and then it, it'll show you documents, okay? See, it's pretty cool. Um, see, it's a lot more organized basically. Instead of like having the recent um, stuff lists, well, I think it no, it doesn't have it anymore. Okay, um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, let's check my time. I'm running at. Hold on. I'm running at 228 seconds. I'm not sure how long that is. So 500 seconds is f five minutes. 600 no 600 seconds is 10 minutes. Okay, so I still got a lot of time left. Um, so, but it, yeah, it's pretty cool. It has a lot of features. Go ahead and uh, scroll down. It has this thing called XPS Viewer. It's kind of like a PDF viewer, except this is just like, I think it's like Windows whatever, just only. And we can go ahead and click the accessories. Now, this is Windows 7 Ultimate, so it's going to look a little, it may have some more features than, let's say, Home Basic or Home Premium. I'm not sure, though, okay? Anyways, they redid the um, calculator. So, I use the scientific, but... Let's say you guys, you just use a standard calculator. That's what it's going to look like. So you can just put in 8 times 5 equals 40. But I like the scientific, so I just keep it scientific. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear, close out of that. They also did an overhaul of paint. So just wait for paint to open up. And look, um, I like this one. Hold on. I like that. See, I can just like write my name. And this is writing my name with a trackpad. I think it's pretty good. Whoosh. 
Ha, anyway, so let's go ahead and close out of that. I don't want to save that. Um, go ahead and click on this, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's go ahead and click on. Uh, okay, let's make sure my volume is up, though. Because we need my volume up for this. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and click on personalize. And um, I have a couple different. I, I, I downloaded a couple. Um, cla yeah, see, classic American road trip. Well, let's go ahead and click on Angry Birds. Look. It'll change the sound. Cool. So we wait for that theme to load. Give it its time. It's only one gigabyte of RAM. Like how much am I maxing out? <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and minimize this and watch this. It changes the sounds. Pretty cool. So we want to change it different. I guess it still has the sock sounds. And we can go ahead and. Anyway, you get it. It just changes the sound. So we're going to go back to South American Road Trip. And I'm going to click on this because, alright, so you can go ahead and go in here. And I like this, okay? This is um pretty cool. You can just like, um. You can have it, like right now, it's set right now to where every 30 minutes it will change. Which requires some stuff. So let's just change it to 10 seconds, save changes. Every 10 seconds, this background will change. So just wait, just give it its time. It's pretty cool. So I don't like it that way because it's actually kind of a resource hog. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go click on American Original Time. I'm going to click Desktop Background. And the one I like is this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that one. Click Save Changes. And what that will do is save that car. So Windows Color, well, um, if you don't want uh, Windows Transparency, end it, uh, just bam, and it's not transparent anymore. See, you can't see your Windows drop down there. But if you take it and enable Windows Transparency, you can notice right behind that you can still see the window which is pretty cool so if I want to go ahead and change my color I can change it to red it looks pretty slick I can change it to blue I we'll have it like it like that brown that or white I think that looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and save just on that and the sounds I'm gonna keep it like that um change mouse pointers you can go ahead and change around your mouse pointers which well I mean you guys should know that feature I mean that's pretty pretty obvious I mean you know it's just it, it's windows I mean it's always my cut let's go ahead and click out and see how I'm doing on time and I always fail wow so we're almost approaching 10 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and, okay, well let's click Control alt tab and you can cycle through windows, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to just like drop it on this one. Oh, I opened up Windows Live, dang it. Hold on. There we go. So uh, let me make sure it's going, and yes it is. Okay. Anyway, so I didn't mean to click on that. Let's go ahead, and um, I'm going to show you guys the gadgets it comes with stock. Basically, it's a new button. You can click it's called Gadgets. Alright. So you go ahead and click it, and it has all the um, gadgets that you currently have. But, there's a new feature. If you go ahead and click Get More Gadgets Online. So you go ahead and do that. Click that little button. And it will open up your internet web browser, whichever you may use. I use Google Chrome. It'll open up this. And you can go ahead and cycle through the gadgets they have. For instance, off of this site, I got that. Which was only a couple megabytes. Not bad. Anyways, guys, we're running on a just 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and end this clip. And 
Um, this will be part one and part two you'll see after this. And I'll see you guys later and peace.